Hello, welcome to the TV One Training Academy. This is the first in a series of masterclasses where we're going to show you how to set your Choreo Master up uh, to create a, a video wall like this. I'm using a Choreo Master Mini, but everything in this little series uh, also is applicable for Choreo Master Mini and also the 4RU Choreo Master as well. Uh, this first short video is how we set up uh, our uh, unit in terms of setting up uh, networking between my control PC, which is going to be running Choreographer Design Software, and my Choreo Master. Um, you can see I fired up Choreo Discover. It's a great little piece of software. It comes on a thumb drive with every new unit. Um, you can also download it from uh, the TV1 website. Also, you can check if you've had your unit in storage for a little while. Uh, you might want to check that there's a newer version available as well. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is set up my IP addresses. Two options, DHCP. Uh, and today I'm going to be using static network addresses because I'm literally connected direct via a little switch to, to this, this unit. I'm, I'm going to use a 192 address range. So I'm going to use 192, uh, 168, 1 and uh, 10. Um, I think I'm all right here with the subnet address. Maybe add a 255 in there. Uh, and I'm just going to add uh, a gateway in the same family as the main address. So it's going to be a 192. One six eight one one. Um, I'm going to save that. Now, what you'll notice is uh, my Choreo Master here now will restart. Um, and what, while it's doing that, it will then set the IP address. So that's now back up. Uh, we can also, um, as well as configuring the IP addresses, we can also update our firmware uh, on the unit. So what we do is we, we log in uh, to the unit. And then we can just browse to, to the update file. So what I normally do is when there's a new update, I go and grab it from the TV1 website, pop it on the desktop, and then navigate to it. Um, once again, it's a quick process, uh, and you're up and running with new firmware. We also have a resolution editor as well. So I'm going to log in to here. Now, the default password for the administrator is admin, admin PW. Um, you can change that later on, and I'll show you how to change that. Um, this is the resolution editor. So we can work with everything from 640, 480 uh, to our, our 4K uh, resolutions. There's a huge number here. I think there's 70 odd here. We can also create uh, new resolutions as well. So I can either copy one uh, or I can create one from scratch. Um, within the uh, custom resolution editor, I can only manually create the resolution or I can use some visa tables as well. So TV1 are a member of Visa, and uh, that means um, it's, it cuts out some of the setup time because it knows some, some of the settings. Um, we can add uh, quite a few resolutions here, probably up to 10 here, into the resolution table. Um, we use that uh, if we've got a, a strange uh, custom resolution that's coming in, or we're using an un unusual monitor on the way out, and we want to plot that resolution in. What happens then when Cory Master sees the source or the display, it then looks up this table here and sets it automatically. So that's uh, how we set that up. Great little tool card discover. Come back and see the next video uh, and I'll be uh, entering into the wonderful world of Master.